The Kirkpatrick C2C, in October 2023, encouraged by a favourable weather forecast, we cycled out from Port Patrick on our Bambucky tandem trike, intending to complete the Kirkpatrick C2C. A challenging 250-mile route between Stranra in the west, to Eymouth on the east coast. Basing our campervan at a succession of campsites, our plan was to ride the whole route, out and back in stages, relocating our vehicle eastward, every couple of days. Back then, we had no forewarning of the floods, devastation and fatalities that was soon to hit Scotland. As a consequence, on day three, we wisely abandoned the tour, when a dire forecast became imminent. If you have not seen our part one video of the two days of cycling both ways between Port Patrick and Cree Town, please click on the above link. Over eight days in September 2024, we successfully completed the outstanding sections of the Kirkpatrick C2C, both ways. Part 2. Kirkubri, Cree Town, Kirkubri. Kirkubri, Corry Hall Stopover, Kirkubri. Day 1. Solway View Campsite. Borg. There is a difficult barrier here. 2.1 miles 3.4 kilometers of narrow footpath and forest tracks. Gatehouse of Fleet. Cree Town. Gatehouse of Fleet. B727, A75, bypassing the off-road section and barrier. Borg. Solway View Campsite. 50 miles, 80 kilometers. 3,327 feet, 1,014 meters of climbing.
an evening cycle to the local chippy at Kirkubri. Solway View Campsite Kirkubri Solway View Campsite 11.9 miles, 19.1 kilometers, 739 feet, 225 meters of climbing. Day 2. Kirkubri, Corrie Hall Stopover, Kirkubri. Day 2's ride was shorter, as we needed to move our van to Corrie Hall Stopover, later that day. Note. The stopover is only suitable for a small number of suitably equipped vehicles as there are no toilet facilities on site. Kirkubri. Gelston. Castle Douglas The Old Military Road Lockfoot Corrie Hall Stopover Castle Douglas Kirkubri 48.6 miles, 76.2 kilometers, 3,303 feet, 1,007 meters of climbing.
At Corrie Hall stopover, we briefly paused to check out where to park the van, then headed back, stopping at Castle Douglas for lunch. Two surprised cyclists, who were traveling the same direction as us on day one, but are now converging from the opposite direction on day two. It won't be the last time we encounter them.